Moving on now, a special story from Mumbai about a nine-year-old Pranay who suffers from autism. Pranay is a, a brilliant child and um, arts and maths wizard, displaying abilities far beyond his age. Yet Pranay has been a victim of exclusion at every step. This despite the law mandating that educational institutions must accept all children, including those who are disabled. <laughs> Nine-year-old Pranay, a high-functioning autistic child. Pranay is often referred to as an autistic savant, which means he demonstrates abilities far in excess of what is considered normal. 985 3s are 2,955. 985 4s are 3,940. So while Pranay may have problems with speech, find comprehension difficult, and struggle with obsession and anxiety, his love for math, art, and a fantastic memory more than set him apart. But that hasn't made life any easier for him. Most of the time, we were just told from the schools that, uh, sorry, we are not equipped to handle such kids. Uh, or the other thing could have been that, yeah, we have such kids, but we just have. A quota of two kids, and it's already full. So why don't you try somewhere else? Despite immense potential, Ghana, Belgium. Pranay was diagnosed with autism, a neurological and communication disorder, when he was three and a half years old. Pranay's father has formed a group in Pune to help families with autistic children. The group has close to 100 members. and they work together to find solutions for their children's future for many of them however it's only the beginning of a journey they still trying to map just because for example i was passionate about something i could find that prana is very very good at it but it may be just one or two percent of what he can actually do the right to education act mandates that every child between 6 to 14 years of age including disabled children be provided free and compulsory education The National Council of Teachers has also decided to educate teachers as far as children with special needs are concerned. But experts say India still has a long way to go. They have no representation in parliament and yet it's a very large uh, number of people, nearly 100 million. and they uh, have no constituency and they're depoliticized prana is a high functional autistic child but it's also important to remember that many aren't they may not be academically bright and they may not have an autistic side but the real challenge and the hope is to not just include them in our society but also find a way to integrate them